What's up, my name is Rich, and straight to the point, I sell t-shirts for a living, okay? And in this video right here, I'm gonna discuss to you how you can start a t-shirt brand with no money. Really, it's as simple as you get yourself a Shopify, you link up Printful, which is a print-on-demand service. So there's no inventory, so you don't have to sit there and make your own t-shirts. As soon as you get an order, all you have to do is place an order on their platform, or sometimes, depending on what kind of design you get, it's not like personalized or anything, it can be auto-integrated, and as soon as the order is placed, you can just have the t-shirt ordered straight to your customer. You can do this with no money, okay? What we're going to do is try to leverage all these free trials. Shopify gives you a 14 day free trial and I set up a little presentation for y'all. Um, it's kind of fun to do, I guess. It reminded me <laughs> of my days in graphic design school. But anyways, we're just gonna leverage all the free platforms like seven day free trial Photoshop, 14 day free trial Shopify. And I'm gonna prepare you guys as much as I can to create a successful t-shirt brand. And even though I say no money, it will help if you have a few bucks especially to get something like a domain because a domain is going to help you look a little more professional. Okay. So, um, you can do it with no money, but just a few bucks will help, but you can do it with no money if necessary. So in all, really, this is just how you can build your t-shirt brand and how you can be successful in a clothing brand. Okay. Um, I know there's things that's important that's discussed a lot, I guess, like maybe things like ship station, what kind of shipping supplies, poly, bags and all that type of stuff that you need um, maybe you need a dymo label printer i'm not going to discuss any of that i'm going to talk to you just the core of the brand itself and what you really need to focus on to be successful okay so let's get straight into it let's jump in the computer and i'll see you there okay so like i said i put a little something for y'all together and we're just going to get straight into it so this is building your clothing brand really i x smart the clothing because you really got to think about just the brand in general um so the first thing obviously you got to think about your logo a lot of people always say keep it simple think about nike think about some of the top brands think about louis vuitton think about mark jacobs think about all these brands right but this is where this entire thing is going to be different from the typical videos that you see about building a clothing brand Really, I want you to think beyond clothing. Think about brands that can transcend more than just clothing and even brands that have came into clothing and dominated. NASA has become a very big brand in the clothing industry. Millions of NASA shirts sold in the past couple of years. You really got to think about what your brand represents. Does it invoke an action? Does it make you feel a type of way? Is it memorable? Is the logo itself timeless? Can you see your brand 10 years from now, 20 years from now, and so on? When someone purchases your product, when they see the brand, they got to be able to say, hey, I'm a part of this brand. I'm a part of this family. You have to let your brand feel like it's an actual lifestyle. They have to be able to relate to it. They have to be able to feel it. They have to be able to see the purpose of it. Whenever you create a brand, you have to have a purpose for it, why you did it. You really have to put forth some research. Make sure you're passionate about your brand so you, that you never, ever get burnt out. You have to believe in it. You have to trust in it. You have to live it. You have to be your brand. You can't just really pick up a random cool name and slap it on a t-shirt and call it a brand. Don't worry. I've been there. I've done that. I think anybody who's tried to create a t-shirt brand has done that and failed miserably. But when it comes to drafting your ideas, and this is what I mean by just some random name, right? When it comes to drafting your ideas, you really have to think... Uh, how simple can you be? Uh, like one, two words are always going to be the best, especially if you can just get down to one. Um, when it comes to the logo itself, you have to draft up just very simple ideas and the more dynamic version. Those are two things I like to do. I like to keep one idea simple and I like to come up with a dynamic version of the same thing. That gives you two different things to look at. Also, a neat thing you can do is make up a word. Don't be afraid to make something up. Um, but at the end of it, just make sure you can feel the purpose of it. Um, the text itself, the name itself has to have some type of purpose, some type of meaning. So those are just some quick things about branding. And nowadays also you can use uh, websites like Name Checker. Um, it's quite important to see if your name itself is available across all social media platforms in the same exact text. 
Um, that way, when someone searches for your brand, it's the same thing across all fields. So, um, of course, there's a different way you can go about it and getting it trademarked and going across all the platforms and shoving your trademark in front of all these people's faces. That's going to be a long process. It can be done, but that's going to be a difficult one. What you want to do is go ahead and avoid this in the first place, all right? Another thing about starting a clothing brand is you might want to learn the process. A lot of people skip these steps. I don't know why. You want to learn what screen printing is, cut and sew is, direct to garment, how is manufactured embroidery, um, vinyl, so on. You need to understand your business. This will knock your prices down in the future, knowing what your costs are appropriately. That way, when you're ready to scale your business, you know how much lower you can get your costs down, you can up your profit margin, and that way you don't sound like such a butthole whenever you come to uh, manufacturers and ask them about pricing and you try to lowball them because you really don't know what you're talking about. You want to understand the process. You want to understand the printing process. So if a customer points something out that's wrong with the t-shirt print or something wrong with the sewing, you know exactly what is wrong and you know how to fix it. Sometimes you're just going to be wasting money sending replacements out all of the time and you really don't know what's the core problem. So you're going to always be sending out a problem. You need to learn how to fix the problem. So understanding the process is important and a lot of people like to skip this step because they just want to get straight to the money. When you build a brand, you got to take it step by step. And here's another thing about doing this. Um, you might want to build a team. When it comes to scaling, it's going to be a lot easier whenever you have someone to do it with. Uh, this is Michael Jordan, talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships. Michael Jordan has created a billion dollar brand for sure. And even though he is the core of the brand, he did not do this by himself. Okay. So whenever you build your team, make sure everybody is always on the same page. You guys are going to build the same exact thing. Make sure you are always talking and in communication with your partner because you don't want problems to build up that you aren't talking about. And make sure make sure y'all have the same passion for your brand and what you guys are going to build. It's going to make it a lot easier to explode, but it's also going to be a lot harder if y'all are on separate pages. So just take this into consideration if you want to do this with somebody or not. Because it can be easier, but it can be more difficult depending on what type of person you are. But at the same time, if you want to build a brand that's really going to scale, you're going to have to build a team regardless. So you really don't have to think about this when you start, but it can be a lot easier when you start if y'all are both on the same pages. So here's the thing that everybody always skips as well. You need to write everything down what you need. Bank account, website, shipping supplies, hardware, software, it goes on. Um, like I said earlier, a few bucks is going to help, especially with a website domain. Having a custom URL is going to make you look a lot more professional in comparison to using just like a Shopify URL. So that's the only reason why I say you might need a few bucks up front. Everything else you really don't need, but you really need to write everything down. Um, you need to prepare. You need to get ready. You don't go to war without getting ready, okay? And that's why when it comes to fight, you just get knocked down. A lot of people start up a Shopify. A lot of people start up a clothing brand and they just go in and attack. Look, I can register. It says free 14 days. I'm going to give it a try. Don't do that yet. Prepare. Write everything down that you need. Set yourself up for success. Create a schedule. Like literally create a schedule. Write down all 21 days. First seven days, we're going to talk about the brand. Going to see if I want to do this with somebody. See what little money I can put up. Draft up ideas. Um, look at all of the free trials that we can use and write it down. Seven day free trial Photoshop. 14 day free trial Shopify. Canva.com designing is like 30 day first free trial. Write everything down and see when you have to do everything by. See when you need to make your first sale by. You have to create a schedule. Like I said, if you're going to war, you need to know what day you're going and you really even need to go more in depth. So like I said, if you're doing this with no money up front, when you get a Shopify order, it's going to take a few business days before you get the deposit so that you can order the shirt to fulfill to the customer. So you need to write down what day you get an order, how long you're going to give a shipping frame for that customer, 
when that deposit hits, how long is it going to take you to order the shirt and fulfill it to the customer? So really break it down to a science. Create yourself a schedule, write down everything that you need, and then get ready to bring it to life. So research everything, draft it up, bring it to life. Okay, so you need to draft up those logos, draft up your ideas, what kind of shirts you're going to make, and the time frame you can make it. On Photoshop, you have seven days, or Canva, you have 30 days. Get everything designed and ready before that 14-day Shopify trial starts. And here's another thing about a clothing brand. It's the shit that nobody wants to do, all right? Excuse the profanity, but like I hate doing taxes. <laughs> I just do. And that's why I pay a CPA, but it's worth it because I don't like doing it. You know, typically people tell you whenever you start a business and all right, if this is bad advice, whatever. But when you start a t-shirt business, really, I don't even focus on getting a business license. I don't focus on paperwork. I don't focus on any of that, but be aware of it, but don't focus on it. I focus on getting sales. I focus on getting the designs up and I focus on making money. That's what I focus on. I focus on the mission of the brand. I focus on what the brand's purpose is and I focus on making sales. The stuff that nobody wants to do is doing taxes, getting your business license, all that. But you need to write all of this down as well. You need to be aware of the fact of getting your business license. So really to get your business license, all you have to do is go to your state website and sign up there. If you have a hard time doing that, you can go to websites like LegalZoom. And then you also got to be aware of like trademarks. If your stuff's already trademarked, use the trademark system and uh, search for the name that you're going to come up with. So be aware of all of this. This is like some back burner stuff for me. Um, a lot of other people put this up front. But really, as long as you write it all down and you're aware of all the things you got to do, create yourself a checklist and you'll be OK. So just make sure you write all these things down to get your business license in line, get your business bank account in line, all of that. Being prepared is going to be crucial in having success in your clothing brand. So what's more important that everybody skips over in regards to creating your brand? How to sell it, how to sell these t-shirts, right? The first one, I really don't like as much friends and family, but if you really gotta do it, take it step by step. You really got to make that first sale, you know, let your friends and family know you need to make like a $30 sale so you can get your next Shopify month paid for. Take it step by step. Think about how much you need to make to succeed next month. This is called your burn rate, how much you need to cover before you are profitable. So write these things down as well. How much is Shopify going to cost next month if you succeed past your 14 day trial? So how much money do you need to make? In order to do these things so let your friends and family know of what you got going on um, other than that social media I built a six-figure Shopify business on just Instagram alone reaching out to influencers now influencers are a tricky things nowadays there's gonna be a lot of people that reach out to you and if you go through their social media platforms it's like all over the place you really just want to reach out to people who are directly what you are catering to and like I was saying, it would be nice to have an extra few bucks uh, to start up with because then you can order a few shirts up front and send these out to the influencers so you can get some good photo quality pictures that aren't just mock-ups. So that way you can actually see a real lifestyle photo of the t-shirts or whatever it may be. So that would help. And also you could do advertising, but if we're doing this with no money, um, we definitely don't have money for advertising, okay? so. Here's something important to know. So even after seeing all of this, according to science, according to data, I see this all the time, 92% of you will do nothing. Only 8% of people take action. And the 8% of you all that do, I have this picture of a car accident for you because I think it's, I just saw the number. It was like 3,500 people die a day in a car accident, okay? That's how many people die a day in a car accident. And I'm pretty sure majority of y'all was in a car this week. You still choose to drive or you still choose to ride in a car, even though this many people die a day in a car accident. Now, why is that important? Because even though that's a scary thing, because starting a business, the failure rate is high. But even though the failure rate is high, don't let this scare you. Still choose to ride in that car. Still choose to start up your business. Still choose to do it and still choose to do the best that you can.
So in the end, don't follow the money, follow the mission. Of course, we want to make sales. It, it, it's all contradicting, okay? Don't follow the money, though. Follow the mission. Follow what you're building. Follow your t-shirt brand to the top. Um, Bill Gates, people tend to overestimate what can be done in one year and to underestimate what can be done in five or ten years. So a lot of times you give it all in for that one year and then you give up. But you don't realize you could have done it properly if you kept going for five, ten years. That first year you have so many goals, so many plans to take it to so many places. You have like a list of a hundred things that can be done, but you only do one. And then you're overwhelmed. And the next year comes around and you're just not as motivated. You really got to think long term when you build up this brand. OK, so don't get discouraged. Um, and we live in a day where it's easy to get discouraged. In my day, it was like. All right, so in my day, the joke was like there's an Asian somewhere across the world that can do it twice as better than you or some, something like that. I don't know. But nowadays, I think the new coin term should be there's a kid half your age making what you make in a year in a month. Like we go on YouTube, we see all these super rich kids. We see Ron's toy reviews on Forbes and it just makes us feel like shit. <laughs> it's so it can be so discouraging. So we really got to put a blind eye to all of that and just think about our goals. Think about our purpose. Think about our brand and think about where we can be in five or 10 years. We have to think long term. We got to see where we can go. The most important thing is take action. OK, like I said earlier, 92 percent of people won't do anything. Don't look at reasons why you shouldn't do things and start looking at reasons why you should. Fear is always going to push you in the wrong direction. Just, so just keep on looking at reasons why you want to build your t-shirt brand, why you want to do the things that you do. Create yourself a schedule, have discipline, stick to it, write down everything that you need and get straight to it. OK, that's really pretty much it. I know this is all kind of stuff that sounds kind of simple. And then whenever you get to it, it ends up being a little more complex than it is. But it really boils down to the core principles. Everything else nowadays can be YouTubed or Googled. It's pretty crazy. So just make sure you research and develop your ideas, but also bring it to life. You have to take action. You have to make it happen. That's the only way it's going to work. So how are we going to do this with no money? Like I said, we can use print on demand websites like Printful. All you have to do is Upload your designs, link it to your Shopify, and start selling. And once somebody places an order and we get the money, then we placed an order for the t-shirt. So I know it sounds simple, but anytime you stumble, just YouTube the exact step that you are on. And I know I'm making it sound way more simple than it ends up being, but it just boils down to if you really want to do this or not. So you want to create your t-shirt brand take action so i hope you all enjoyed this comment like subscribe see y'all next time once again my name is rich